Okay, now that we got that front cowl off, the front trim around the cowl is off, and the front bumper is removed, now what we want to do is go grab our box that says bumper extension kit. Inside this is a little some bracketry that we can extend our bumper out and bolts and nuts and washer to hold that on. We have pop rivets to go across the new body, which we have to drill holes in the trim to get it on. So, what I'm gonna do first is go ahead, get my drill bit, get it over there, get my bumper brackets, get them set up so we can get this new body on. Okay, now we're gonna be working on the inside of the front bumper. Now what we wanna do is find the portion that has the hole to the outer edge furthest away. You wanna put it towards the top of the bumper. Make sure that half the lip is going up. Same way with the bottom. You want to make sure that the one from the hole to the outer edge has the greater distance to go on the portion of the bumper. Now we'll get both of these in and we'll snug it up just a little bit but we do not want to tighten it all the way down just yet. Okay, now that we got the brackets snugly fit on the back of this bumper, we can actually mount the brackets to the frame using the existing hardware that we already had. Now we can go ahead and tighten it all down good and tight. Okay, with this Phantom body kit, it also comes with headlights. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some pre-wiring so that it'll be a lot easier. We can set the body on, put the lights on, go ahead and reach in and plug everything up. Now this is one of the harnesses for your headlights. What we're gonna do is we're gonna center this up. You got the end of your corrugated tubing here. You've got the other portion here that'll plug into your light. Now, we're gonna run this eventually into the dash that so we want it on the passenger side. What we want to do is where the wires come out here and the end, we want to put it centered here to the front cowl. That way, with the uh, little zip ties that come with the kit, we can actually take this corrugated tubing, zip tie it to this cowling here and the holes that are already there and keep everything tucked away and nice and quiet. Okay, now we want to go ahead and install the front cowl. What we want to do first is go ahead and pull the plastic coating back all along the outer edge where we'll be uh, installing some rivets. We're going to put it on the car using the center hole here as an alignment and go right above it. Okay, center up to the edge and we'll mark it. Now, we got a place to put our first hole. Now using a 7 32nd drill bit, we'll go ahead and drill this hole out. Now we'll put the front cowl up here and put our first rivet in. Now that we've got the top center rivet in, I'll start on one side and just go ahead and drill the hole and install the rivet, doing one at a time. Okay, now then, we got the rivets in. We'll put our trim piece back on and get it screwed in good and tight. Now that we've got the trim secure, I'm gonna go ahead and pull all the plastic off. And once I get all of that off, I have a nice little stick on grill that's going to go right in the center. It tells me, make sure it's in the right place. Extremely good adhesive. So it's going to take some time and get it measured out real good. Okay, because this thing does have such strong adhesive on the back of it, just to make sure I know exactly what I'm doing and exactly where I want it, I'm going to go ahead and cut it out first, trim all the excess paper out from around it, so I can put it in there, see just how I want it before I actually peel the backing off. 
Now that I've got it cut out, I left a little corner sticking out just to make it a little bit easier when I want to fill this backing off. I'm gonna put it in here, center it up, see exactly where the bottom's gonna go down because we want to put the bottom in first, center it, and then go up with it, getting all the air bubbles out. There we go. Now, right before we put our rear body on, I'm gonna go ahead and put our front top support on and the little cover that goes over the corner. So, let's get this thing mounted. Now, before we actually get seated down in there, Let's go ahead and peel the trim up all the way around. Okay, now that we've got the trim up all the way around, we can actually now take the body and push it down in the edge all the way around. Well, I hope today's episode showing you how to change out an OEM Club Car President body to the new upgraded Phantom body kit with a light kit was helpful. Uh, as a reminder, all parts and accessories that you see us put on these golf cars, we do have available for purchase on our website, DIYGolfCart.com. Be sure to like us on Facebook, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe, and once again, thank you for visiting us here at DIY Golf Car Garage.